Okay, I've got four limes cut in half. I'm juicing them and then I'm gonna dump that in the crock pot. A big strong husband to do this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pour this in here. So that was quite a bit of juice from there. Excellent. So I have that. Um, my recipe calls for juice of four limes and then um, four to six cups of beef or chicken stock. I don't have stock, I have bouillon, so that's fine. I would rather use beef, but I don't have it, so whatever. So I'm gonna pour two in right now for my base. And then I'm just gonna start putting the veggies in. I'm just gonna coarsely chop this because you want some hunks. You're ready for chop, babe. I am. See? I want to be able to do that. <laughs> how they do there. Probably need sharper knives. <laughs> Probably do. These are my nice... Pioneer woman knives. Pioneer. I say they're new. They're really not new. I've had them for a while. But I get excited every time I use them. So... Okay. There's that. Um... The red onion, you want it into big chunks, which sounds weird, but. And I want to do this quickly because I'm tired. This is actually going to cook overnight. So, this is the easy, kind of cheat way. Usually it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to get everything ready for this. And I'm just not doing that. It all tastes the same anyway, so. I always think that my crock pot is bigger, and now the... The what? The other one. What's the circle one? My um, uh, pressure, pressure cooker. cooker is a crock pot also, and it is a little bit bigger. So I saw a hack on YouTube about um, your garlic and how you can put it in a jar, just how it is, and shake the jar and it'll come out of the... Um, the wrapping, whatever it's called. Not true. If anybody's done it, let, let me know in the comments because I could not for the life of me get it to work. And I was just standing there and... Looking like... <laughs> this is not working. Maybe I was doing it wrong, I don't know. So... With garlic, you can press it with everything on here but I'm not going to because it gets stuck in my press. So with these, you take it, so I'll cut this one. Um, you're just gonna smash it. So it cracks a little. I didn't see that one. Just smash it. Yep. Your feet come off the ground when you smash them. Because I'm so short. <laughs> It's supposed to be a whole head. I had a little less than a whole head. That's okay. Um, half cup. I guess I can do that in here. We're doing easy and fast. Everything's gonna taste like garlic in my kitchen after this. Mm. Half cup apple cider vinegar. That, it smells so yucky for my the broth that it kind of sits in. Oh, okay. How many cups is that there? Two. I already have two in there. I didn't use hot water, so it's not 
Okay, so the Chipotle's. You doing two cans? This must be four canned Chipotle's. In the sauce, minced. Oh, I smell that from here. That smells like it. Um, I might just. Fast. What are you doing? I'm supposed to mince them. Usually I put these in the um, food processor. Well, usually just the blender to be faster. Yeah. I'm just gonna kind of chop them here and throw them in. I'm not mincing them, so. You're just chopping them. Go ahead and lick your thumb. <laughs> this is actually what makes it taste so yummy. It's the best part of the whole thing. This one's actually stronger than the first one. Yep, I smell it. So in Mexico and um, South America, barbacoa is made with lamb, beef, or pork. And the head of a cow. Or head of cow. It's like all sorts of, it's more like supposed to be either the cut of meat or how you cook it and we're doing neither I guess well I guess we are using beef but usually it's like slow cooked all day long <coughs> underground with bananas banana uh, wrapped yeah banana leaves wrapped um obviously we're not doing that so um you may want to wear gloves when handling the adobo adobe adobo whatever because they will burn your hands um, one teaspoon of salt. I'm trying to get rid of this salt. I've had it forever. The measure to taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is just, it's like huge chunks of salt. So I don't like to use it in anything but stuff like this. Okay. Cilantro, adobe, red onion, garlic, ground cloves. One teaspoon of ground cloves. Just the cheap. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then salt, limes, vinegar. That's it. So, I'm going to put this other two cups of the um, broth. broth. So, this equals four cups of broth, and it actually might be enough. And then I'm just going to stir everything. You can see the cloves on the top. It's a little more messy than what it normally is. It's a little more chunky than it normally is, but it's all going to taste the same. Okay, so I bought Chuck Rose, and it's actually a pretty big one. Um, Six fifty nine a pound. That's insane. But twenty dollars um, for this, and I think it'll make enough. Yeah, um, that would have been like thirty some dollars at Publix. Yeah, it was crazy expensive. So um, I'm just gonna dump it in there, actually. The whole house it will smell like barbacoa. When I wake up to go to work and I won't even be able to eat it until I come back home. Into two. Wow. So it says to, it's like four to six cups of um, beef or chicken stock, but it says to cover it 
like add enough to cover it. So this four cups that's enough to cover covered it. it perfectly. Um, so that's it. Actually, I put like six bay leaves on top. These are the things that you'll see the Chipotle reviews, the restaurant Chipotle. You'll, oh, they left a leaf in my it's a bay leaf, idiot. <laughs> so shouldn't call people idiots, but come on. Nobody's bringing leaves in from outside to poison you because they're not poison. So anyways, we're going to turn this on. Um, ooh, a little sad there. Um, low all night, about eight, ten hours. So we'll let you know what it looks like tomorrow. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay. So we got the final product here of the of the uh, nice barbacoa and I like to make rice with it and I made some white rice to go along with it and got some tortillas these aren't homemade tortillas you can get them at the store these are mission tortillas flour tortillas uh, but this is the end result right here I'm gonna go ahead and you can see I'm gonna stir it here and all the juices and everything are just so yummy you got the meats you got the vegetables in there all you do is bring it over Kind of pour it on there, kind of like so. Get some nice vegetables to come along with it. And what I like to do with this, once I move it over here, that's plenty of meat because that will just shred. As you take the meat, and I take a cup here like this, and I just get some juice of juices and just pour it all over it like that, just like that. And voila, you have yourself a barbacoa meal. And excuse my fancy plates here. I don't feel like washing any more dishes, so I got paper plates. Uh, but here are the tortillas. They'll go along with this. And it'll be a yummy, yummy lunch. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you guys uh, tried this on your recipe. Tried this on a particular night. And let me know how it turns out for you. Until then, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit, uh, Leave a comment. And of course, hit, hit that like button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Great day.